Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 Hours. In this video, we learn how to use Excel to calculate trigonometric functions. One thing to remember, in day-to-day -day life, we tend to work with angles expressed in degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, etc. In Excel, the inbuilt trigonometric functions work on the basis of radians. So if we have the input values in degrees, the first step is to convert these values into radians. We will calculate the six major trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant and cotangent. But to do these calculations, the first step is to calculate the values in radians. So in the first column, I have listed down angles in degrees starting from 30 degrees going up to 360 degrees. All the major angles in degrees have been covered. In column B, we will do the conversion from degrees to radians. The function to do that is radians. It has just one input parameter, the value in degrees. So if you look at cell B2, I say equal to radians and choose the input value as A2 and I just use the drag drop function to do that for the entire column. For the sine function, the Excel function is SIN and the input value will be a value in radians which means the value in column B. For cosine, the Excel function is cos, the same as we write. For tangent, the function is tan. For cosecant, the function is csc. For secant, the function is sec, sec. And for cotangent, the function is cot. In each of these cases, the input value is the value of the angle in radians, which means in this case, we are taking the value in column B. Now, if you see, once this entire exercise has been completed, there are some bizarre values that I have highlighted in yellow over here. These bizarre values come because of two possible reasons. One, because trigonometric values involve fractions and like some values of sine, tan, cos are also zero, it could be because you are dividing by zero, so you get that hash div by zero symbol, which means Excel cannot do the calculation because division by zero is not possible. The other reason why we get some bizarre values expressed in some number e plus etc is because some of the trigonometric ratios in reality we say are defined as infinity or not defined so when a trigonometric ratio is infinity or not defined excel ends up throwing up a bizarre number thank you